Welcome back to the channel. We're up at Lake St. Peter for a couple of nights. We decided to do some camping, get away from the, all the stuff going on at home. It's nice to have a little break once in a while. This is our second time coming here. We were here once last summer and uh, we like it. It's kind of a quiet spot. It's a little bit more secluded. Yeah, last year we went camping at Silent Lake and I know we said we were not gonna do any more provincial camping, but then we found this place last minute at the end of the summer last summer and we came up here and it was, it was empty. Yeah, it was nice and quiet and it's very empty right now. Although it is still early on the Friday, but yeah. it could fill up. We have nobody, actually there's no one in any of the sites around us. Just the, a chipmunk. Just a chipmunk, yeah. We were just literally just feeding a chipmunk by hand. The bugs are terrible today. We have a complete and total fire ban, which is not great because we planned all of our meals to be cooked on the fire. <laughs> we had a really nice drive up here. We really took our time, stopped at all of our favorite places. We stopped at the bakery, got our usual stuff. Then we headed up through Bancroft, I realized I had no sweaters with me, no long sleeves, no nothing. That's right. So we stopped and grabbed a shirt. We also stopped at York River Meats, which we have actually never been to before, I don't think. And they had like specialty meats there. Yeah. We did pick up some kangaroo meat. Yeah, we're gonna try that later. We'll definitely show you that. Um, I'm kind of interested to try it. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> they had all kinds of cool stuff there though they had elk bison um what they have there was like five salamis elk bison kangaroo something oh, else rabbit oh yeah rabbit yeah that's right and then we also picked up some wild salmon from there which we we're gonna have tonight we're all set up now so i think we're just gonna i don't know do you want to go down to the lake sure yeah okay. check it out sure let's Maybe do take that the dogs for a walk yeah they probably won't go swimming We're getting ready to start making our dinner, which is going to be a tinfoil packet because we love making tinfoil dinners because they're so nice. So super easy, we'll take the tinfoil. I made some garlic butter before we left. Scoop of that, salmon filet, asparagus, close it up. But before we do that, we're gonna try this kangaroo meat. As you can see, kangaroo, it's even got a little picture of the fellow there. I'm having mixed feelings about it, I don't know. I wonder how much protein is in kangaroo meat. Let's just try it. Okay. Be honest. Kangaroo salami, okay. It's juicy. It's very dark. The lady at the store said it's close to a venison. It, ha it has a really, wait, wait, wait. It has a really distinct smell. Hold on. What is that? It's like a, I can't, I don't know. I can't describe that. What is that? Oh, it's because it's like partially salami. No, it doesn't smell like salami. It's giving me a really like, I don't know what it's wait, it, it kind, you know what it smells like? It smells like if you put ketchup on your plate, ate your grilled cheese, left the ketchup, it dried to your plate, <laughs> and then that's what it smells like. It smells exactly like that. Ready? One, two, three. What taste is that? It tastes like a Christmas candle. <laughs> like, like nutmeg, what is that? A Christmas candle? It reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> it does not remind me of Christmas. It reminds me of being a kid and eating grilled cheese and leaving my ketchup out in the sun and then coming back for it. Mm. It's not bad. It's the weird. This is the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. 
I don't know why. It's kind of giving me a taste of when the dogs smell like they're wet. <laughs> when I was on a charcuterie board, I definitely put some with carrot with some cheese and cracker and eat yeah. like that. But I wouldn't sit down and eat the whole thing. No. It probably wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to the store to get some kangaroo meat. Do you want anything? Like, I wouldn't do that. I'd probably say for me, probably like a six out of ten. Yeah, six out of ten. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's just weird. But it's what like we do know tastes good is wild salmon. <laughs> yeah. So, let's, let's do that. Yeah. I made this garlic butter before we left. I sincerely urge you to just make this yourself because it's so easy. It was just, I took a chunk of butter, a couple crushed cloves of garlic, I think I put five in here, and then a handful of dried parsley, which we dried from our garden last year, and that's really all that's in it. site on this I guess this row that was occupied now we have one two three new neighbors so. and a mild domestic going on next door <laughs> at Silent Lake it was the neighbors playing their music too loud and then this, this has been a violent loud outburst yeah. for a long time and this couple over here definitely not getting along so we're not gonna do too much more tonight maybe playing in the cards I want to get up early tomorrow morning and do some fishing. Tomorrow's opening day for bass in this area. Yeah, maybe catch some fish and then we have some fish for lunch or something. Sure. 10 out of 10 would get salmon from that place again. This little small mouth, I'll throw him back. Okay.
In your Crocs? Yeah. I got trash control on. Right on. How are those crocs working for this hike? Uh, pretty good so far. How's it going back there? Good. Yeah? This is a pretty steep climb so far. It's very steep. We are at a 60 meter elevation gain already. Still going up. It's still going up. And it is incredibly humid. Yeah. It is so hot. You can't not wear pants in here because the bugs are so bad. Crocs performed well though. We're finally starting to get around to supper. It's nine o'clock. Um, our supper got put off by the heavy rainfall that lasted for maybe about 45 minutes, I think. I wanted to go out canoeing earlier. Uh, Jeff really wasn't in the mood for that because he went out this morning, but I really wanted to go. But it's a good thing we didn't go, I guess. Yeah, we would have been caught out there in the downpour. Yeah, we would have been stuck out there while it was pouring like that, which would not have been ideal. But instead, we were here and we stayed dry. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there's a lot of people around us who are not dry at all. We have some corn and we have some steak to cook. I've got the corn on the barbecue. If you've never done it before, you should try it sometime. You leave it in the husk and then you put it on the barbecue. And you just, I don't know, it's about 20 minutes probably, depending on how, how saturated or how wet the husk is. And uh, I've always liked doing it that way. It turns out pretty good. So we'll cook that up and then we're going to do the uh, ribeye steaks that we got as well. It's really good. So the salt and pepper on it's really good. The dog staring at the corn and meat, not so good. I like your shirt. Yeah, me too. Where's yours? I forgot it at home. <laughs> It's 
good cup of coffee. Well, that's another camping trip in the book for us. That's the first camping trip of the year. We have one more scheduled later this year in Bon Echo. All in all, I think it was a good time. I had fun. Did you have fun? It was very noisy. It's noisy right now. Besides all the regular things you'd find at a public campsite, like noise and screaming and car alarms. Barking dogs. Domestics. Fighting. It was pretty good. So yeah, we're going to get packed up. And uh, thanks for coming along. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.